Good morning, my name is Jessica and I'm part of the Hope Valley team and I'm just here to offer some quick encouragement to you all. Um, right now it's easy um, to feel helpless as we navigate life during, during a global pandemic. Um, you may be finding that your employment or your familial situation is impacted or it may be your health or your finances because when we're not in control, it's easy to feel helpless. Um, when I do feel helpless and I just need some encouragement, I turn to Psalm 121, which reads, I lift up my eyes to the hills. From where does my help come from? My help comes from the Lord who made heaven and earth. He will not let your foot be moved. He who keeps you will not slumber. Behold, he who keeps Israel will neither slumber nor sleep. The Lord is your keeper. The Lord is your shade on your right hand. The sun shall not strike you by day, nor the moon by night. The Lord will keep you from all evil. He will keep your life. The Lord will keep your going out and your coming in from this time forth and forevermore. Um, personally, uh, in this season, I have felt helpless, uh, especially trying to explain to my three-year-old why people are wearing masks when they walk past our front porch. Um, and why the playgrounds are closed and why we can't gather together at church right now. And I just simply and plainly put it as gently as possible. We don't want to become sick and we don't want to spread sickness. And it just broke my heart to hear her say, Mommy, I don't want to get sick. Um, and in those times when the helplessness creeps in, along with the other things that sometimes come with it, like anxiety, sadness, and frustration. Um, I acknowledge those feelings. We don't have to push them down and pretend they don't exist. But after that, I lift my eyes to the hills and I just refocus and I offer those things up to the Lord. Um, recently, I noticed that um, after I'd start my work day and go down to the kitchen to get tea, before I'd come down the stairs, I'd kind of hear some hushed whispering and my daughters would be standing and kind of, or sitting and looking expectantly at the top of the stairs. And this went on for a couple days. And one of the days, the three-year-old turns to me when I got down and she said, mommy, where you been? And I'm like, girl, you know I have a job. What do you mean? I'm working. And I was wondering, what are, what are they doing? And a couple days later, when I came down, I heard some hushed whisperings between them and my father. And he said, remember, see, look, I told you, here she comes. When the tea kettle goes off, when you hear the whistle, you know that means mommy's gonna show up. And when I thought about it later, it took me back to Psalms 121, because every time we lift our eyes to the hills, expectant from help from the Lord, he will show up, he's going to show up. Even when it feels like he's running late, he's not on our timing, we think he should have already resolved this issue. Um, he's never late. His timing is perfect. And that particular day that my daughter had said, where have you been? When the tea kettle had gone off, I was on a call with the client. I was still working, but I was still going to come. And it's the same way with the Lord. He will show up in his timing but he's going to show up because he never leaves us or forsakes us. And I'm so encouraged that even in this season, um, when things aren't going as expected, as I'm waiting in, on God to move in certain areas of my life and in certain situations, I'm encouraged because I know even though those issues have not been resolved yet, that he is coming. He is faithful to show up. And I'm so encouraged by that. And I hope you are too. Let's pray. Father, we are just so grateful that we can lift our eyes to you, that you will always show up, Lord. We thank you um, that you'll give us faith, Father, um, to wait on you and your timing, even when it's not aligned with ours. And we thank you that nothing can separate us from your love. In Jesus' name, amen.